Why do you like Tyrion Lannister? Tyrion Lannister is like that unopened bottle of fine scotch you see sitting in the corner of the bar. He's complex, he's rich in character, and every time he's on screen, you know things are about to get more interesting. In a world like Westeros that's brimming with muscle-bound knights in shining armors, scheming queens, and dragons that level cities, Tyrion brings the brains to the brawl. Sure, he's not going to win a duel, but you don't need a Valyrian steel sword to outsmart your enemies. The guy's wit is sharper than any blade. He can size up a person's character within seconds, weave words together with the skill of a master poet, and crack jokes that would make even the stoic Ned Stark crack a smile. And let's talk about his resilience. He's been pointedly told he's not wanted since the day he was born, shunned by his family, society, pretty much everyone. Yet he takes it all on the chin and keeps his chin up, booze in hand, ready to spit a clever retort at anyone daring enough to match wits. Underneath it all, Tyrion is fair-minded, compassionate, and has one hell of a strategic mind. He genuinely cares about the realm, at least when he's not enjoying his favorite pastimes, drinking wine and reading books. And who in Portland, Oregon doesn't appreciate a good book and a fine glass of Oregon Pinot Noir? But it's not just his mind that makes Tyrion stand out. It's the glimpses of vulnerability, the moments when the mask slips, and you see the weight he carries. He's been put through the ringer, more times than I can count, including being on trial for a murder he didn't commit. And yet he's still standing, still smarting off, still fighting the good fight. Tyrion Lannister isn't just likable. He's the underdog with the best lines, the best strategies, and the biggest heart. In a series that's dark and often brutal, he provides a mix of comic relief, wisdom, and the poignant human struggle at its finest. Plus, let's be honest, who can't relate to wanting to slap Joffrey just once? In the Game of Thrones, he may not sit on the Iron Throne, but Tyrion's the king of the one-liners, and in many ways the true hero of the story. Who wouldn't root for someone like that? 